What's up, guys? This is Stitch. We are here back with more Metro Exodus. So let's continue where we left off. Uh, if you not, if you haven't seen the last previous episode, I just got myself a minigun. Got to have fun and experiment with it a couple minutes ago. I mean, it is powerful and awesome, but damn, do I go through ammo quite fast. Oh yeah, I only got 79 shots left. E, that's not good. Give me the note. Oh, how the medic became a, a butcher station almost. A med bay. I like this thing, but I don't. So we're gonna do that. I mean, I picked it up once, so. The good news is that I'll have it for me. But it's strong and awesome, but it just wastes too much ammo too fast. There's Anna. Artyom, I knew. Behind you. There is always one like you, a hero. You're not saving anyone. Just like the others. So just freeze! Yes, yes! The, Let just, him just go! Don't kill me! Now! Uh, remember what I told you. There was an explosion. Enough chatter! <laughs> yep. Are you alright, Artyom? Thank God. Oh, what did they do to you, my waifu? Let's report to the Colonel. Artyom found me. I hope to God she's not sick. I'm gonna be so brave with her cough and everything. This whole situation, though. I thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volga. And that Silentius with his damned fanatics. Oh, no, this is much worse than the fanatics. But no. It appears there was still space for growth. We could have got killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. Look at that type booty. A <laughs> booty, booty, booty.
anything is used. Their defense sites, HQs, all the information is outdated. All links are long gone. Still, the ones that light up work for at least a few years after the war. What's down there? It's Captain One, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. <laughs> are you going to drag us to some other bunker now? I don't know. We have to make the decision together. Everything here. Come on, come on. Okay, all done. <coughs> I don't think you should have put it like that, Anna. It all worked out this time, didn't it? It worked out. It really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't. But do you intend to live forever? <laughs> of course not. All the more reason to strive and spend more time at the Rothstein with that guy over there. I have to remember that. That I understand. <laughs> Let me move. Ha! I knew something was over here in the corner. Give me crafting supplies. <laughs> oh, is that everything? And yes, it does look like everything. Cool. I was like, oh, only one platoon, but our platoon is en strong enough to kill your entire base. I believed those pricks from Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ. That we were under occupation. That we were still in war. That there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka. I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war. The government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Would we leave us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? 
They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites. What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. <coughs> if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there are something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> Could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? Sound the horn then. Spoiled dinner. Let's go. Three months on the road, three months of constant trial. But after Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know. But what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst, and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs. Oof. Ooh, desert. Oh, no snow. I'm not in love with this place. Nothing but sand and heat. I feel like shit here. city and they said it was woman there's a woman in there let's go tell the thing yeah they're gonna try to steal our woman is the worst off the others are not so well either only us here are still in fighting shape thank you Ada, you and Demir reconnoiter the area we need to find the damn bunker and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. 
more task. Look for water and fuel. Well do. Get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. Roger that. See you soon. Just try to be careful, alright? So many places we to check. Who those men with the car are. They do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info. Which is just what we need now. Move out as soon as you're ready. Okie dokie. Crest, can your rail car pull the train? It might, but really slowly and not for too long. The engine is too weak for the weight and we, we don't have much diesel left. Well, if we had enough diesel, the Aurora wouldn't be needing any help. How so? Its firebox was originally designed for taking coal, but it also has high temperature lining and liquid fuel jets installed. Why didn't you say so before? Because you never asked! <laughs> Is the injection system in working order? I would need to check it. We'll take rest and run the checks. Oh well, yeah, we'll take care of the chick chuck, no problem, but uh, that ain't giving us no diesel. Hmm, judging how the locals drive around, it will be much easier to get our hands on diesel than coal around here. Uh, what about the water? Can't run without it, but our tanks are dry. Let's handle problems in the order of their appearance. Yep. Today. Ugh, no ammo. Hey, set up the perimeter. You get to the back of the train. Idiot, you get the engine. I'll clean the place up. Then we'll bring step on. It's cooler than in the train. <coughs> Your world is war, my liege. Shall I commence now? <laughs> commence. Okay. I be off then. This looks like it used to be a school. Right, let's get back on the train. Too hot. Is he overheating? Too much sun, perhaps? We're all overheating here. I'll relieve him once we get step on here. Yeah, we'll handle that. Well, I'm off to it. Are you going out? Look here, then. This is something I finished just now. Huh. Hollowed out a couple of Tihar bullets and filled them with explosive. Ooh. Some explosive ammo right there. Loaded with the uh, tin ammunition. Open the yourself. weapon inventory and hold R1. It's one. quite simple. Don't forget to clean your guns regularly with all the sand around. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Exploded rounds! Nice. Let's grab some things. All right. Ah. <laughs> they look like little tiny, little tiny unit. They look like little tiny missiles. Yeah, poof. Um. Okay. So let's go. Guns. Um. Car. No. This is what I want. V scope, cool. Um, let's go L1. Give me back my. No, not that. That. And give me this puppy. Give me this. Give me four times. Eight cylinder. <clears throat> Heavily modded, increased power outage and costly reliability. The IR, IR laser sights invisible beam produces a very small dot on the target, which is only detectable with night vision. Ooh, nice. Oh, which is only detectable with night vision device. Oh. Oh well. All right, and then you, you are a 
already fully upgraded. And you, yep, yep. Oh, oh, heck yes, dude. Giving you night vision goggles is... Ha, yes. Giving you a night vision scope. Thank you for something being great. Alright, uh, let's see. <sighs> Crash my nose! <laughs> Crapped a lot of ammo. Compass attached to your bracer will always point in the direction uh, you should be heading. Mm, Artyom! <coughs> Wait, I'm coming with you. I think I could use a little walk right now. Stiopa, you can hardly walk. You'd better rest while it's not your shift. Well, Artyom, I really do feel kind of under the weather now. Maybe next time. You're right. Artyom and Danir are going out for a simple recon, not a fight. And what if they get attacked? Then they'll retreat back to base where you and Sam cover them. So you should rest now. Mm-hmm. Yes. Love. You're right, Katya. Mm. How is Stepan doing? He's got a sunstroke. And he's dehydrated to boot. We should let him rest in a cool place. The boys are checking the station building now. We'll put him there once they're done. Oh, I hope they finish soon. Well. Well, I got everything I needed. Hey, okay, cannot use this during the day. I'm gonna go blind. Right. <coughs> we'll do a couple of main missions and when we start to get side quests. We do another I we going the other way, oh. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Do 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 do. <sighs> My heartbeat. Twelve oh two. Do you see that building with the antenna? The car went that way. Be careful out there, though. We don't know what to expect <coughs> from the locals. Mm-hmm. You can say that again. All right, so let's see. There's a big area over to the right. There's a... Straight ahead, there's a big area. And then to the left. Oh. Since we only got two minutes left, we might as well just... Venture.
bunnies coming out of their wood holes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sandstorm. Ooh, that's going to be fun. We're going to quick save right here, guys. We're going to call this episode right here, and we will be back up with another episode later today.